I don't like English. Did he buy from? Give a man power money. He said you will know the person. If he didn't day, he didn't day. 100 million naira. That was the amount paid by all of these politicians for a chance to contest in the APC presidential primaries held in 2022. This money was used to secure two very important forms. The expression of interest form was 30 million naira, while the nomination form went for 70 million naira per person. But these fees are not paid by presidential aspirants alone. The APC also fixed 50 million naira for governorship aspirants, 20 million naira, and 10 million naira for senatorial and House of Representative aspirants, respectively. However, you should know that this is not unique to the APC. The PDP's presidential nomination form was sold for 14 million naira. Governorship was 21 million naira, while Senate and House of Representatives were sold for 3.5 and 2.5 million naira, respectively. This is to show you just how expensive politics is in Nigeria. In fact, if you are a university professor, you would have to save your entire salary every year for 10 years and still wouldn't have been able to afford APC's form for governor in 2022. Also to add, the minimum wage is 30,000 naira. And if that is what you earn, it will take you over 277 years to afford the APC's ticket. Not to worry though, situations like this require extraordinary measures and that is where godfathers come in. It appears there are shadow governments in almost every state in Nigeria. People powerful enough to control governments even before they start their administration. They are known for sponsoring the campaigns of their candidates and even hiring thugs and cultists to secure their investments. These power brokers then take control of whatever happens in the state for the duration of the puppet government they sponsor. They are known as the government inside the government. This is the typical operation of political godfathers in Nigeria. But how is one man able to capture an entire state for his own benefit? First, they buy tickets for the aspirants, starting from the governor to the House of Assembly members. This can run into millions of naira. Thereafter, they spend billions of naira on the campaigns, buying officials, also on court groups and other armed gangs to influence election results in favor of their candidates. This they call political structure. Once their candidates get into power, they proceed to use the State House of Assembly members they have sponsored to keep the governor in check. If the governor tries to break rank and do things his own way without consulting them, boom, you get impeachment. This is the story of political godfatherism in Nigeria. And in this episode, we examine the rise of the strong man of River State, Nyosom Wiki, the self-declared godfather of River State. Nyosom Wiki is a career politician who has suddenly become more wealthy than an average Nigeria's entire generation just by being a public servant. Now, here's what I mean. Nyosom Wiki. Nyosom Wiki. Nyosom Wiki. He loves and worships money. He can betray his mother for money. Sometime in 2023, Wiki bragged publicly about how he bought nomination forms for all elected public officers in River State. He stated that he was responsible for their campaigns and victories at the polls. But how much are we talking about here? You have 31 members in the assembly. 31. 27, I guess. You. Now, there are 27 House of Assembly members said to be loyal to Wiki. The cost of the nomination form for the State House of Assembly under the PDP was 600,000 naira. Let's assume he bought the nomination forms for all 27 lawmakers. That would be 16,200,000 naira. And there is the governorship form that cost 21 million naira. Moving on to the National Assembly, the delegation from Rivers comprises three senators and 13 representatives in the lower chamber. Remember, the PDP pegged the nomination forms for senators and House of Rep members at 3.5 and 2.5 million respectively. Now, if we keep both forms for all of these guys, that is three senators, he would have spent 10.5 million naira on forms alone, 
while also dishing out 32.5 million naira for the 13 House of Rep members. Now, a little math trick called addition will then mean Wiki spent 80.2 million naira on forms alone. But hang on, it seems you are forgetting something. There was this small matter of 40 million naira spent on the PDP presidential nomination form by Wiki when he went up against Atiku Abubakar in 2022. That will mean in all, Wiki spent 120.2 million naira purchasing tickets in the 2023 elections. Again, how was he able to afford the money he used to do all of this? Remember, this 120 million plus doesn't include amounts spent on campaigns to oil his political machinery, something fondly referred to as political structure. According to a former governorship aspirant who asked to remain anonymous, it would cost you between 4 to 10 billion naira to contest and win the governorship election in River State. So, what is the secret behind this enormous spending that brought all these people to power? For Wiki to say he single-handedly brought all these guys to power, he must be a serious billionaire. Well, let's see how much Wiki is really worth and how he made his money. According to publicly available records, Yensom Wiki attended government secondary school in Neka in Obiakbo, River State, where he obtained his O-level certificate before proceeding to the River State University of Science and Technology. After obtaining his Bachelor's of Law degrees from the River State University of Science and Technology, he was admitted to law school in 1997. Wiki also holds a Master of Arts degree in Political and Administrative Studies. So now that we have established that our man is a trained lawyer who also has a Master of Arts degree in Political and Administrative Studies, we tried searching for his law firm to confirm just how much he brings in annually. But that search was fruitless. And that is because in the late 90s, Nigeria was preparing for a return to democracy following the death of military head of state, Sani Abacha. This presented Wiki and others the golden opportunity to begin their political career. Still in his early 30s at the time and relatively unknown, Wiki decided to start his political journey from the grassroots. So in 1999, he was elected the executive chairman of Obia local government in River State. Wiki managed to hold on to this position until 2007 after being re-elected in 2003. But how much did Wiki earn as a local government chairman for eight years? Here with me is a copy of the remuneration package for political and judicial office holders as reviewed by the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission in 2007. It shows here that the basic salary of a local government chairman is 908,312 naira annually, that is everything in a year. Regular allowances summed up with the basic salary brings the total annual income to 3,542,416 naira 80 kobo. So if we can end this high between 1999 and 2007, then he would have raked in 28,339,334 naira and 4 kobo. Now my question is, did he save all that amount for his future political ambitions or invest the entire thing into some business? Following the 2007 election, Wiki was appointed as the chief of staff to the governor of River State, Rotimi Amechi. He served in this role until July 2011, when he was appointed as the Minister of State for Education by President Goodluck Jonathan, and was later promoted to Federal Minister of Education in September 2013. Quite a leap for Wiki there, but how much did he earn in these positions? According to this revenue allocation body, Chief of Staff to Governors in Nigeria usually earn 1.3 million naira as annual basic salary. When you add his regular allowances to this, you get a sum total of 4.8 million naira. He served in this role for four years. Multiply this amount by four and you get 19.5 million naira. During his time as Minister of State for Education from 2011 to 2013, Wiki earned 1.9 million naira as annual basic salary. Added to his regular allowances, his annual take home pay would be 7.5 million naira. This amount multiplied by the two years he served in this position equals 15 million naira. Now, before resigning to contest for governor, Wiki served as a minister for education for about a year. 
According to Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, the annual basic salary of a minister is 2 million naira. As with the others, the regular allowances blew that amount up to 7.8 million naira annually. Wiki occupied this office for about a year before resigning his seat. So, from Wiki's time as chairman up until when he ran for the governor of River State and won in a reportedly rigged election in 2015, his total basic salary plus regular allowances, according to this body, was 70.7 million naira, not even close to a billion naira. This was what Wiki made on paper between 1999 and 2015. But how about his time as governor now? Adding up his total salary as governor for eight years, we get this figure on the screen. This then added to the total salaries over the years will amount to 133 million naira. So, according to the official document released by the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, Newsom Wiki has earned a combined 133 million naira in his entire political career before becoming FCT Minister in 2023. However, we have him claiming to have bought nomination forms for all elected public officers in River State, a feat that would have cost him 120 million naira just for forms alone. From up to down, in our state here, we all agreed I paid for every form. I paid. Nobody will say as like he paid for any form to run for governorship. Nobody will say that he paid one naira to buy for House of Lords form. Nobody will say he paid one naira to buy assembly form. Nobody will say he paid one naira to buy senate form. They're all here. I paid. Now, let's even imagine he had help generating this money. Of course, a sitting governor should have made a lot of friends in high places, right? So 120 million naira shouldn't be a problem. The challenge, however, is we spoke to a former governorship candidate who spoke on condition of anonymity that there was just no way you could contest and win a governorship election in River State without spending between 4 to 10 billion naira. According to this former governorship candidate, campaigns cost a lot of money and for a state like Rivers that produces over 20% of Nigeria's crude oil, the stakes are a lot higher. So, with less than 4 billion naira, you most definitely don't stand any chance. While River State has not declared any missing funds whatsoever, I'd like to remind you that from the time of late General Sani Abacha up until his successor, General Abdusalami Abubakar, Nigeria didn't declare any missing money. When Obasanjo became president in 1999, however, we started hearing of looted funds returning home. Monies that were said to have been stolen by the late military head of state. Monies that were never declared missing. Now returning home from a journey Nigerians knew nothing about. I think we can all agree that it's pretty hard to find something you're not looking for. Especially when you don't even know if you lost it or not. While we are not saying anybody stole anything, the big question staring us in the face is how did Wiki get all that money to sponsor, not only the governor now, but all the political office holders in his state for the governorship election? We have a good idea from our conversation with the former aspirant of how much was spent. Even if we were to slash that amount to, let's say, 2 billion naira, that is still more than the entire earnings of Wiki in his entire political career, at least from what we have on paper. And let me let you in on another secret that is not so secret. According to some sources, thousands of dollars were reportedly spent by aspirants to bribe delegates during the PDP primaries for the coveted presidential ticket of the party. So where did they get all of this money to carry out these expenses? Does Wiki have a very lucrative business somewhere not disclosed to the public? We'll find out more in the next episode. Thanks for watching. This is Declassified on News Central TV. I'm Jubella and I'll see you in the next one.